and sisters, what you're about to see is two crop circles that was left in the ground, okay, from who the fuck knows, okay? But this is the white people's uh, video right here, and it's entitled Reptilians Among Us, the Alien Race Here on Earth, okay? Now, they're going to show you, they're going to give a story, but they're going to give you a partial story, and they're going to lie. They're going to, they're going to, see, right here is a, 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 a alien picture of a clear reptilian looking individual, okay? And this is like a, a coded disc type thing, but it's a message in that shit, right? And they're going to translate the message, okay? But they're going to leave out another picture that also was put there, okay? And that other picture was that of a black face, all right? Saying to watch out for these motherfuckers, that they're evil, but we up here fighting for y'all, and, and, and it's good out here, and, and don't trust these motherfuckers here, because they're going to deceive you. This is what the black people said, and they gave us a little cold mirror and shit, okay? Let me pull that back up. All right, here we go. This is the white people version of what the fuck uh, they saying. Once again, we see your face, but this time there is an unmistakable resemblance to something extraterrestrial. The picture also contains a print, somewhat similar to that of a CD, with something that appears to be a COVID message. This formation also has a new type of design. This time with horizontal line patterns of variable thickness, similar to that of a TV picture. The message on the disc is similar to a spiral band built up of many boxes. But data expert Paul Vige manages to decipher the message. And I had to enlarge the, the disc quite substantially on the computer and run some image analysis over it to make it clear so I could see what was a standing tuft and what was flattened. And while I was doing this, I noticed that every so often, um, there was almost a mistake in the diagram. It, it was like there was a tuft, a weather little square of tuft. It had done sort of half size. I thought that's a bit odd, it was, and, it, and it seemed fairly regular. I was going round, and I sort of counted up, and it, it was sort of literally every sort of eight bytes. Or and I thought, oh, eight bytes. And yeah, from computer side, um, it's obviously some sort of binary code. Um, so then I got, you know, did the straightforward thing. I just converted it into ASCII. Uh, which is the standard sort of you know, uh, computer language that you encode the alphabet in. Um, and of course, I then started to get words forming out, and I thought, ah, oh, you know, I'm getting somewhere here. So I then did the whole thing for the whole lot um, and, and got this message. The message is in English and reads as follows Beware the bearers of false gifts and their broken promises. Much pain, but still time. There is good out there. We oppose deception. Conduit closing. Okay. Check the message out. Beware of bearers of false gifts and their broken promises. Much pain, but there's still time. This is what... Now look, they saying that the reptilian motherfucker sent that message. That the reptilian motherfucker... Look. The, the black people sent both messages. A black image with a message and that image with a message. But the, this, this coded message right here did not say this right here. It says some shit like, watch out for these motherfuckers that these motherfuckers are here and, and they, 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 they shape-shifting and they taking the image of basically white people, okay? And they ruling the motherfucking country and don't trust them motherfuckers, all right? That's what that that's what was it that's what this really say. Okay? This this video here is made by white people. Now, the brother named Rod Spin, he does this shit too. Now I'm getting ready to show you the other image that this video didn't include. The image of the black face in the coded message. And this was attached to the to the uh black image message, this message right here saying, Beware uh, bearers of false gifts and their broken promises, much pain, but still time. There's good out there. We oppose deception. Now I'm gonna pull that one up for you. Okay, 
Here we go. One year to the day, these series of crop circles appear in the same field. All right? So, this first one, Look first at that crop shit. circle ever of its kind. Because the way it was set up, at first, when people first saw it early in the morning, right, it just looked like a bunch of circles, a bunch of, uh, like the crop had just been fashioned in these random circles. Look at that flat nose and thick lips. when the sun shined on it in a certain way, it made a pixelated image. So where do we encounter pixelated technology? Computers, and where I'm taking, so if I want to take a picture of my brethren, and I take that picture, it's going to be in a pixelated format. So, so the message in this crop circle is saying this is a picture of us. Right. Okay? Then they, 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 they sent this other message. Right? All right. So now, you saw the picture of themselves, it was humanoid. It looked like a human, kind of like a human head, human face. Here's a picture of obviously a reptilian or possibly insectoid being. I think it's supposed to be a reptilian being, okay? And the reason why is because how it's depicted. Now remember, when they took a picture of themselves, they formatted it what? In pixels. They got this reptilian being in lines of what? Lines of what? Not binary code. When we are on, when we're looking at TV, there's lines of what? Begins with an R. Resolution. Resolution. Lines of resolution. Right? So, this being, they say the, the the message and the way they depicted this crop circle is saying, this is the being, this is the entity who projects himself through y'all televisions and computers. So this harkens back to the science that, I mean, I know, I know everybody in here saw they live. I know it, right? Everybody saw they live, right? What? All right. Is this your only copy, Brad? All right, good. Yo, y'all got to get this thing right here. John Carpenter dropped the science on these reptilian beings and their use of the television to control our thinking and control our perception. So on one level, it is just planting them seeds of thought, consume, obey, right? But then on another level, it's all about these reptilians finding a way that they can appear like mankind. I'm not going to say appear like humans. Appear like mankind to further manipulate the controller. All right? George Clinton dropped that science in the film Cosmic Slop. So if anybody saw that film, it's a vignette. It's three like short stories. But the first one he deals with this science of how the uh, reptilians use the technology to broadcast the image like they appear like they're human, right? But they're really not. Okay? So, um, so you got this image of them. And then what they did was they burnt. They, they made another crop circle image of a, of a, of a disc, of a CD. So when you burn your, you know how say, you're going to burn your CD. You're not like burning grooves, like, you know, when you think about the LP. The LP was a spiral of grooves that had etched in it the, the, the vibrations of the music. So when the needle, which, was, which is a little crystal, the oscillating crystal, would move over those grooves, the crystal would resonate and shake in resonant affinity with those grooves, reproduce the sound that was captured on those grooves. And that's how the LP worked. 
So when you're making a CD, it's a different technology. In binary code, like there's several manifestations of binary code, but the most simple is what they call the ASCII code. The ASCII code is basically the binary equivalent to the alphabet. So when you type the letter A, there's a binary expression of the letter A. On, on, off, on, on, off, 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 you know. Uh, meaning that, you know, binary code is, is bits, either on and off, organized in groups of eight, all right? So now, when they, every eight measures in this outer band, there's a half of what would be a horn. So that was their way of saying, like, yeah, use binary code. Remember when we sent our message up, we sent in the message the key to decipherment. So the outer band is the key to decipherment. Every eight bits of information, there's a pattern. So that means organize everything else in bits of eight. So then they were like, oh, this is the ASCII code, right? So once they figured that out, they then added, they just spelled what it said. And this is what the message said. Beware of the bearers of false gifts and their broken promises. Beware of them cats giving you all that technology. I'm talking about they're going to clean up the environment and make your life easier and make your life simpler. Much pain. Y'all gonna have a lot of pain, but there's still, you know, y'all gotta endure a little more. It's still some time. Believe there's good out there. And remember when we heard Hagen Hassan, he said, this is the most important part of the message. That's right. We oppose deception. We oppose the deceivers. They telling you which side they're on. The conduit is closed. I feel it means like their conduit. The their portal. Channel of how the thing is closed. The portal. Alright, so again, we mentioned this. The Stargate. Comparing who's who. I'm not going to go in depth in this. If y'all want some in depth reasoning on this, I'm going to be a humanist. Next Saturday, December 17th, 5 o'clock, we're going to go deep in. I'm not, I can't go too deep, but we won't get up out of this joint. Alright, but, but I'm going to really go in on who's who. Of these star nations. But I'm but real quick, these brethren right here, these are our extraterrestrial ancestors. That's right. Instead of what the Kimites call the Anui. Tell it, brother. The called the Nomo Titiani. Okay. These cats right here, we know them in the earliest form. This is the one them called Lucifer, Satan, that fallen angel, the devil, That's the right. deceiver of the nation. That old He's serpent. More current as the reptilian. That old serpent. Okay. That's right. They depicted themselves pixelated. <laughs> like it. It's a picture of us. We humanoid. They depicted the reptilians and lines of resolution, saying this is the technology they're using to trick y'all. Their origin. Their origin is extraterrestrial. They from out in the heavens. These cats, tradition, the story tells us when Lucifer. Lucifer fought a battle in the heavens with who? Archangel Michael. Michael. That's right. That's what that's what Anku was building on Michael because Michael is the celestial avenger. He's the archangel, the Michael warrior. The, the one that the Most High said, "Yo, go, go kick go that ass." That's right. That's right. Violating the universal law. That's right. Them up. That's right, Ross Ben. No and doubt. Then, so when Michael fought that war in heaven and Fought Lucifer, where did he cast Lucifer? Into in the, the earth. That's right, in the earth. They bonded him up in, in the, the earth. earth. These reptilians, even in front Yeah, that's right. Because there's a lot of misinformation. And that's what that's, that's what I can't go deep in, man. Right? Deciphering the misinformation from the real information. But they're trying to play. And that's like what I'm working on, trying to break up too. They're from in the earth. Right. Right. Okay? And they need to manipulate humans into opening up the portals for them to come out. That's right. Alistair Crowley 
was the main one opening up portals for them prior to World War II. Look, man, I'm hitting 15 minutes. I gotta, I gotta shut this down, right? But um, it's gonna be more, man. I'm gonna give y'all more of this shit here. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm working on this shit too, y'all. I'm working on they ass. Believe that shit. I'm working on this shit, man. So this brother Eli L, man. Peace.